Hello, my lovelies. So, for Tour and Tries today, we are going to try out a fellow tutorialist hairstyle. I told you I was going to start with Siobhan, just because, uh, well, I talked to her first and she was cool with it. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, I have my tablet here so I can follow along. Um, I actually went through a lot. I almost did the full-on Grecian wheel, but... It took her 45 minutes with the braiding and stuff, which means I don't even want to know how long it would have taken me. So we're going to go with something a little similar first go around. Um, here we go. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Terrible reflection. But we're going to do the black sails. Um, Eleanor Guthrie inspired knotted ponytail because I could not figure out how she did that. Um, just by looking at it, I was like... I'm not sure what's going on, show show, so I don't know. Let's try it, shall we? Um, yay. Okay. So it looks like she uh, starts out with a half up. So let's start out with our half up. I'm going to leave her there. Um, you can't hear her because I don't want anybody to come at me with copyright infringements. Uh, because that is the way of things. Now, she uses clear hair ties. And I just don't know if one of those will hold this much of my hair. I'm going to go with probably not. Um, so I might have to actually dig around in some hair ties first. And see if I have any that are my hair color. Okay, so the hair, clear hair ties that I have, I couldn't even get them around this much hair. Uh, they, I tried to. They broke. I decided to go for a somewhat the same color as my hair hair tie. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so next step is we take this, and then we're going to take the same amount on the other side, and we're going to make a square knot over our ponytail holder. Now, let's tie this in a knot over top of our ponytail holder so we can hide it over top it's not over top it might have been a little high and then pin okay so uh first one is up and tied uh over our ponytail holder and we did a pretty good job of covering it um i had to do this because my hair being so long is getting caught in itself and making this kind of a pita. Um, so next section, this section we will go, um, we will tie the knot opposite of the first one. So if you did right over left for the first knot, this one you should do left over right um, to keep it kind of even going all the way down. So that's what I'm going to do. After this, uh, we will have well, no more sections from the back. After this, we're going to take our ponytail, split it in half, and then use this in the next knot down, and then the tails from this current knot I'm working on in the knot after that. Um, I'll show you in a second. Let me get this knotted and pinned. All right, second set, knotted and pinned. Um, do, do, do. Right up here, like so. Um, next, we're going to take the pony split the pony in two and my first set I declamped and then clamped my second set so we will try and keep this relatively um, separate from each other. I'm going to have to use the mirror to find out where my pony is because I can't tell. <laughs> I think that's my pony. There's some extra hair there. There we go. Okay. Let's separate that out. Ugh. That feels like an awful lot. Pony. It didn't feel like I took that much hair, but well, <laughs> okay, so split this in two and add this to this side and this to this side and make another knot except for this one tiny piece of hair that should be there. Okay, now another knot. Um, and now we need to go the way we did the first knot, which will be this way. 
And our next knot will go the way we did the second knot. Let me make sure I got all these little baby hairs through there. Um, how's that look? Do, do, do. Okay. So Siobhan kept knotting hers till she ran out of this hair. Um, I can't really do that. I'm already at the base of my neck. And uh, as you see, I still have feet of hair. Actually, it's almost as long as all the rest of my hair. So what to do now? Because this doesn't look like Shosho's. It doesn't. It doesn't look like Siobhan's. Um, it's one of the things that I think it works better with silkier hair than mine, perhaps. Um, or just maybe not as much hair as mine. So what am I to do with the rest of my hair that is clearly, hmm. So, now is the point when we improvise and see. So I think I'm going to bun around this. Oh, I still got that tail hanging down though. What am I going to do with that mess? Um, see how that looks before I go any further. It's going to cover everything up, isn't it? So, now's the, when I, now's the time on sprockets when we dance. Um, Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, everything is knotted. I'm going to make two rope braids. I'm going to wrap that around my knot. I believe, and then we'll turn this into a bun. So, <laughs> as you can see, I actually do try out certain tutorials, but sometimes things don't work <laughs> because I do have too much hair. Um, if I were just doing like a little bit of a half up, I think like three knots, it probably would have been really cute. But you know, I wanted to go for the full deal. Um, it didn't work out so much to me for me because I have too much hair so this is one of those that uh, you know I usually would end up trying to figure out a way around it figure out some way to adapt it for my hair or I do like I'm doing now now I can put a clear hair tie on it at the end um, you know well okay so that didn't work but I've already spent a goodly amount of time on this. And do I just take it all down and throw it in Nautilus bun? Or do I re-finagle? Um, me, since I have spent so much time, and it's not that it's hideous up there. It's just that it's not quite what I was going for. Um, I am not going to give up on it whole hog. Uh, no, I'm going to refinagle it. I will see what we can do. Now you can see where the difference is. Oh, that's going to make for an interesting braid tail end. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we have the basis of the knotted pony, um, which mine is slightly askew here and there. Uh, because my hair is very heavy and pulling down my pins, um, I added two rope braids. This one's all kinds of loose, but it doesn't matter because we're wrapping these up and around, I believe. Um, tighten you up like this. Look at there. And I'm going to take you around the outside. And I'm going to use my nice big pins. And we'll see. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Up and around the outside. And then we just have to really tuck this end in well and pin. Well, it's all up. I guess we could say um, that's it's definitely all up, um, except for this one thing for some reason. But uh, and then we do have our visual interest of the knots here in the middle. I might pull this up and pin it a little more. Um, by using these wee tiny pins in here, they just they didn't hold at all. You know, trying to hide them um, in a good way. But uh, maybe, yeah, if I pull this up, let's get a magic grip. That might have enough heft 
and the hiding powers to keep that up. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, that's better. Well, see, now we have something completely different. Um, it's not quite the black sails. <laughs> not a pony we were going for, but it still turned into something, um, which is what I always encourage you guys um, to do. I'm going to use a magic grip up here for these ropes. Um, I always encourage you guys to try things out, and if it's not quite working, I know some of you get really frustrated. Eh, why? It's just hair. There's no reason to get crazy frustrated. Just work with it. So, you know, this is one that I just simply had too much hair for to make it look as pretty as Siobhan. Um, but I still think we ended up with something pretty. You know, it's got kind of a crown braid thing going on. But yeah, I think it, uh, I think it turns out okay. Like, this isn't bad. I can go to the grocery store now. Um, and it's all up off my neck, which is also nice. I just thought it would be fun to do one that had, like, hair hanging down, but clearly not today. <laughs> all right, um, yeah. So, hopefully, uh, this will help you in some way, uh, even if it's just you laughing, like, ha, 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 see? Yay, you failed. Or if it's, um, oh, hey, so, I don't know, like, I'm not infallible. I am not perfect at this. Some of you guys seem to think I have magic powers. I do not. I'm just like you. I just practice, practice, practice. This is one I didn't practice. This was a first go. So, this is what happens. Um... Could I figure out how to adapt it better to my own personal length? Probably. I would probably end up, uh, pro I would probably end up making like a bun out of most of my hair underneath of this and then just keeping out some sections on the side to not over. Um, just for the simple fact that I have two feet of hair after, um, leftover. It's almost three. Uh, after the thing is done, and that's just a little much, so, um, yeah. But you know what? This is a viable alternative. <laughs> that's what it turned into. Um, convertible hairstyle. I hope you guys do this with mine. If it's, if it's something that doesn't quite work out the way you expected it to, you're like, uh, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and finish it this way, and yay. <laughs> that's what I do. Alrighty, uh, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Um, thank you, Siobhan, for allowing me to do one of your hairstyles, even though I completely did not recreate it. Um, but look, we got something new and fun to play with. Uh, yeah, I think if you are between BSL and waist length, this is a great one for you guys. But if you're at TBL or longer, mm, you know, just know you're probably going to have to uh, fiddle and you know reconfigure it just a little bit all right my lovelies I will see you tomorrow with some hairstyle um of my own creation <laughs> although yeah all right uh, until then have a great day love you guys bye